I'm a little irritated because I spent weeks trying to edit my in-depth review of the Joker Folly Ado movie, the second Joker movie that came out in 2024. I spent weeks editing the damn thing over and over and over again just for Warner Brothers to keep blocking it globally. No matter what I do to edit it, no matter how many frozen frames I add, no matter how much of the audio I remove, no matter how much it basically is edited so destructively beyond repair that it basically looks like a stop motion animated film. All that time, all those weeks, all that amount of rendering and hours wasted. I'm just giving up on it. I was gonna try to give it just a little bit of praise just to kind of show people what the movie still does right and mostly what it does wrong. But my God, it's like Warner Brothers is allergic to compliments and they just keep fucking blocking my shit globally no matter what I do to try to fix it, edit it, and please the Warner Brother gods. Actually, a quick update on that. I was able to eventually please the Warner Brother gods with all the editing that I made. I was finally able to get it onto YouTube However, after all that hard work and now it's not blocked globally, it only lasted a single day before Warner Brothers had copy stricken my video. So then I tried to appeal it for fair use and I tried explaining everything and tried to... Man, I just tried to talk about how it's transformative in property that it's not me filming the whole film and releasing it to the public because the whole film was like two hours and eight minutes I believe long and I've heavily edited it, everything. I've Put a lot of freeze frames i took out a lot of audio i fucking i did everything i could to not only apple uh appeal and p appease the youtube gods and the warner brother gods but then they decided to copy strike copyright strike my video again a second time and now all my revenue is going to be lost from that which is fucking fine whatever at least at least i was able to just finish the video and just get it out there and not have it globally blocked now you can watch it but they're just going to be taking all the revenue from it because their excuse after manually reviewing it was that it was the full copy of the full movie which it's not but whatever the fuck I, I, I guess they just don't want like praise or any type of compliments for their film even though no one's gonna watch it now it's already like an over dead movie they fucking put it into digital fronts uh, so you can own it on DVD now and like three weeks later. So it's like, that's not really gonna increase your audience by any means at that point. So you might as well just let people give reviews and honest feedback about the film, but whatever. That's over and done with. That was basically a whole month of October just wasted on editing that one fucking video just for, I don't know, just, just for it to be viewable, but I'm not able to make any revenue from that. So it's just for me a month's work of just wasted energy and potential but anyway back to the tutorial so now that i'm not wasting weeks on that i'm gonna finally do this last achievement that i want to get for this game or not last achievement but one of the more harder achievements which is not too bad actually Alrighty, i immediately forgot how to play this because it's been like over a month yeah, if you're gonna be doing any of this stuff and you already had a pre-existing save file, do not overwrite your save file and delete it. Save it somewhere else, have a duplicate of it. Because if you make changes and you want to go back to your original save file and not stay on this one, that's perfectly fine too. Just make sure you label it in a folder or something so that way you know which file it is that you don't want to delete. Always make backups. Always make backups. Yeah. Okay, so this is on the hardest difficulty. Uh, it's on lethal. The tabs on the top is how you scroll over left bumper, right bumper. Um, I have completed and eliminated all of these plague hearts on the map except for this one. I purposely left this one alone because I wanted to make a save file where I can upload it to share with everyone on True Achievements if they wanted to just transfer the downloaded file, open it on their PC, complete this last plague heart, and then just pop the achievements. So what I did is I went to the difficulty and I destroyed all the plague hearts on Nightmare. It will reload, like it says right there. No, this change will relocate your community to a new version of the same map. It, it just reloads the map, basically. It doesn't it doesn't change anything, doesn't dismantle anything. You don't lose your, your materials and resources and all that shit, you really don't. I did that first on Nightmare, all these on Nightmare so that it was a little bit easier. Uh, but when you, go to lethal mode there are a couple that pop up again so like there's one two that'll pop up three four five six seven eight nine ten Th there'll be a lot more that pop up so it's not worth it 
but it's worth it in the sense that it reduces a little bit of stress just trying to like destroy the plague hearts because on lethal difficulty it can get really difficult anyway so my objective is to complete this okay cool you can come follow me then i'll take that guy and then i'm gonna go over here to the plague heart and i'm gonna destroy it Alrighty, looks like we're going to a barn this car is fucked up and needs to be fixed at some point oh and there's a small little horde here that's pretty it's great Alright, my dude, uh, go ahead and fight everyone while I destroy the play card. I can't see shit, but I just look at the little mini-map and see where they're coming from. Oh god, there's a horde coming in. There we go. And... Nice. I killed all the play cards on the map with minimum difficulty set to lethal. Sweet. Alright, that wasn't too bad. That didn't take all that long. I don't know where my teammate is at. Where, where are you? Okay, here we go. Alrighty. So, yeah, confirmed. You can unlock the achievement while setting the difficulty uh, down a little bit. Um, it does not disable the achievements. It just reloads the world, which is good because that's just resetting uh, the difficulty anyway. So, that's good. You can lower the difficulty one, do all the plague hearts up the difficulty, do the final plague heart, and then that's it, you get the achievement. So I'm gonna upload multiple different like save files that kind of are checkpointed right behind certain achievements. I would suggest that you still keep playing the game to increase your resources and get as much ammo as possible, do all that kind of shit, but I did the majority of the work. So all you gotta do is put the game in the directory, play it, get your achievements. So where is the directory? Well, I'm glad you asked. You go to your PC, your local disk, your users, and then whatever your username is, you go to, you can also do a percent app data percent and just go to local, go to packages, and then it'll be this one, Microsoft.Dayton. You're looking for Dayton. We're gonna open this file, system data, yep, and then we're gonna do Windows Game Pass save, what I'm assuming is WGS is what that stands for. We're gonna go to whatever the fuck this is labeled as. We're gonna go wherever the fuck this is labeled as. And then the save file is gonna be typically the one with the most amount of kilobyte size. It should be on the top most one. So this save file is gonna change every time you load up the game. So because I just played on the Xbox and I popped the achievement on the Xbox, if I close the game on Xbox and I open the game again on the PC, it's gonna rename this file save. You save your game on the Xbox, close it out, open the game on your PC, have the file load in, and whatever is the file with the most amount of gigabytes. So I'm gonna try to have them labeled like this, like Final Plague Heart, and it'll load into where, where you need to be, like the Final Plague Heart. So this is 580A, there we go, it, overri it overwritten. So the string uh, text had changed. We can continue. As soon as I hit the continue button, everything loads properly, and that means you can just go to your campaign, uh, continue game, and just load it up from here. If you've never made a community before, your first time starting, it's gonna ask you to make a community. Just go to campaign, select make a community, new community, and when you're fresh from scratch, you're gonna get this kind of save file here. It changed again. So 6117 is temporarily what my, what my save name is going to be for my game on Steam. My fresh new brand new file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the file that I'm providing for you for the achievements, the final play heart, copy it. We're going to paste it in here and we're going to grab the string of text for the new game that I just started. Copy it, delete it. We're gonna overwrite the save that I provided. So because you had replaced it, the computer's gonna be like, ah, there it is. Whoa, he's done all this progress already? Cool, okay, well if that's what he did, that's what he did. So then it'll just load up all the work that I've already done for you. This is basically the same tutorial as I did with Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. If you haven't seen that, go watch that. It's basically the same concept here. We're just grabbing a save file that someone else has already uh, done all the work for, and then you just drag it into your directory so that your game loads. Ah, I recognize this file. This file is 611706, or whatever it's gonna randomly be generated as. It will change every time. And then you open up the game again because you want to save this new information. You wanna send it to the cloud. 
So that way, it saves on the cloud, and then I can open it on the Xbox, and then you can just play it on your Xbox and pop the achievements. You can still pop the achievements on PC, I think. Um, I don't really play on PC, so I haven't really tested that. But I just I just prefer Xbox, so I, I mostly just use this to import the save from my PC, go to the Xbox, play it on the Xbox, pop the achievements, and then I delete the save on the PC. That's basically all I do. When it says uh, press play to continue and you get into this menu without any errors, you, you know you're good to go. Now I can just hit campaign, I can just continue it, and it should load what I was just doing on the console. All right, J on the keyboard is your fucking invent, is your map bullshit. All right, cool. God, I forgot. So I was like, oh, it didn't update. That's interesting, but no, this is correct. So I replaced my new save that I just did, which was defeating the plague heart. I just popped the achievement on the Xbox. I replaced that save with my old save, the, the one where the plague heart is still there. So this, I guess I just confirmed to myself that it does work. I just confused myself for a moment because I was like, wait, what the fuck? I just destroyed this. Why is it still there? It worked as intentional. All right, cool. Yep, there it is. It's back again. All right, and then I can do the other achievement that I should be doing, um, which is, I believe my leader is a traitor, so she needs to... Traitor forgiveness will be with Amy. She's over here. I can start this mission and just complete the game from here. All right, Dale, you're coming with me. Wow, you have no stamina, Claudia. Uh, we should probably fix that. Why do you have a sledgehammer, Claudia? Day 19! Give it up for day 19! Hooray! Deliver two ammo rucksacks. Why do you need two, you greedy bastard? But I'm gonna do her mission. I'm gonna try to get to the end of it and then see if that other achievement pops. Alrighty, here's one. And let me grab yours. Here is two. Uh, have you found the last... Swift will lead the community on principle. That's fine. I I saved my file. I have a backup save. I can just redo it again. I was gonna do more like do the checkpoints before like the leader missions and all that kind of crap, but you get the main point. The main point of this is that I've already done the work. I'm gonna include save files. All you gotta do is drag it into your computer folder, upload it to the cloud, play it on your Xbox, pop those achievements, you can use all and any of your resources as much as you want and then just delete the file save, upload the other one, and then you can just keep doing this again and again and again. This video is going on for way too long. I don't need to show most of what I've recorded. So I did all the work for you. Have fun. Good luck. All right. Bye. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. And fuck Warner Brothers. I was going to be nice. I was going to give you glowing reviews and at least give you some type of positivity. But you keep blocking my video after weeks and weeks of editing and hours and hours of rendering time just gone wasted. Fuck you.